on whose ministry the private sector is driving to raise a fund, you should be interested on how they want to raise a fund. If you are not interested and you don't care about that, at the blind side of your eye, they can go and raise mobilize resources that you don't even know. But because you have also put in place a measure to ensure that the funds are rooted through the ministry, that is why I was asking that you should be interested in what type of packages that are made uh, to the business committee. But let me come to this one. You, you, are making, you made reference to Minister of Food and Agriculture raising funds for Farmers Day to, to reward our hardworking farmers and fishermen. and fishermen. Sorry. The document I read, did you have information if the Minister of Food and Agriculture raised funds from the same farmers that they were going to reward? I, I do not have that information, honorable member. But if, if, if you make further clarification as to the, the, the objective of your question, I may be able to offer some suggestions. My, my question is this. We want to reward the business community, the expatriate business community, for the good work that they're doing. And we don't want to spend any money as governments. We want to raise money from the same people that we want to reward or award to meet the cost of awarding them. We don't want to spend one peswa. Meanwhile, as you said earlier on, the benefits come to us as a country. That is why I'm saying that in the case of the Farmers Day program, the our deeds were not asked to donate either in cash or in kind to support the program. These are the, the distinctions I was trying to arrive at. Honorable member, let me reaffirm this position. I do not intend to be speaking on behalf of the collaborating partner and how they carried out their but I've also indicated that it does not mean that I'm not interested in how the funds are mobilized. But with specific reference to whether it is proper for the fund organizer to be mobilizing funds from the same community that they are going to award. Again, it is clear. I'm not speaking on their behalf. But I do not have any information to suggest that they were only raising funds from the expatriate business community. I do not have those facts. If you read, the, and that's why I try to address our minds to the express words used in, in the MOU, it says, under the responsibilities of the foundation, that's 1.8. One, coordinate, design, and solicit from sponsors nationwide. Nationwide. So there's no express mention of the fact that they are mobilizing funds only from. Uh, uh, there are people who have a common uh, interest and shared objective with the government and our collaborating partner that expatriate businesses should be rewarded. So it doesn't matter. They may not even be invited to the event, but then they share the same objectives. So I'm only clarifying that it may even mean that they were able to raise funds from non-expatriate uh, businesses. Thank you. The information that we have so far from the document being turned in means that the same expatriate community that's uh, have been targeted in this um, fundraising issue. That is why I asked that question. And the nationwide that you have mentioned in the MOU, 
I think the expatriate business committee has spread nationwide. Yeah, so the Mr. nationwide here does not mean it goes beyond the expatriate business community. They yeah, also spread nationwide. Yeah, honorable member, I'm addressing the fact that there is no specific mention that they are supposed to solicit funds from sponsors only from the expatriate business community. There's no indication uh, to that effect. Thank you. Let's move on. Honorable Minister. One of your officers was designated to receive the money from uh, the expatriate community that uh, were supporting this event. And um, yesterday we got to know that one Mr. Ayamga. Ayanga. 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 Yes, Ayanga. Ayanga. I'm Ayanga. right. Ayamga at room 308 in your office is uh, the one designated to receive uh, this money. Is Mr. Ayanga here in the hall? Mr. Ayanga, identify yourself. He stepped out. Okay, let's move on. What, what method, what method was used, what method was used to receive the money from the supported or the sponsors? By this question, I mean, is it received by cash? by check, by bank drafts, or, or by direct bank tran transfer? What method was used in collecting the money? Honorable uh, member, I want to be sure that I'm responding exactly to your inquiry. When you say what method was used to receive? Met method of receiving the cash. Is it you receive by cash or check, banker's draft, or direct transfer from one, the sponsor's account to the ministry's account? The famous Ayanga is here. He will give us that information and he will pass it on to you, honorable member. I, I prefer you respond to me because I want your voice to be recorded. So, um, Mr. Chairman, you will indicate that to me and I'll provide it to the committee. Very well. well I, I was thinking that if you can look at multi three. 